All right, getting ready to take off for the 2019 Good Season the Blue Ridge uh, down at uh, Crusoe Motorcycle Blue Ridge Motorcycle Camp. Great, great location on 276, just south of Waynesville, southwest of Asheville. So uh, you're gonna have a good time meeting up with Brother Ray. So it'll definitely be a uh, brothers' bikes and a uh, little bourbon uh, with the. Uh, Engine off, gear off, always drink responsibly, and uh, looking forward to hanging out. Unfortunately, the weather forecast is lots of rain, especially tomorrow, so I'm going to try to beat some of that, <coughs> uh, even though it is 90 degrees and my watch says unhealthy temperature, so yes, it is, but so show it a little bit on the bike. I've got my um, I've got my uh, Camelback here, which is really it's not a true Camelback inside, but it's a water bladder. It's got some ice in it. All my camping gear is set up there. Got my drinking tube set up with my um, tank bag that holds camera and glasses and other things I need to get to. Maps, of course, always maps, even when I'm doing GPS. And um, uh, also, certainly the phone, and uh, here's where the verb is. So, uh, you know, just a quick tour of what my uh, bike setup is. This is the tether for the uh, uh, hit air airbag so off for off fourth on swing here we go Welcome to the first day of my trip down to North Carolina. Headed down to meet Brother Ray, but the first day, getting a little bit of a late start, decided to head first down 360 out of Richmond and uh, then jumped on the nice, very nice U, uh, State Route 360, which kind of goes around the north side of uh, South Boston, Virginia cutting through some really good countryside, a uh, little jaunt through Halifax, Virginia as well, which is a, just a nice sleepy little town north of South Boston. Riding through this sleepy little town is always kind of fun, just uh, seeing a, another slice of Americana and the small town views that we sometimes get. Love these uh, old houses that you'll see on the side of the road and uh, throughout the different uh, turn that you make. Some of these are pretty big houses, and you kind of wonder, well, where did they come from and how did they make their money to get there? And why Halifax? Uh, certainly a lot of farming and railroad land, probably in this area. Another interesting thing that uh, does occur is the sometimes you just get behind somebody who's kind of going slow. You just figure it out until you come along a nice stretch of road where nobody is behind you or in front of you. And those are always nice to see. Those are nice to have. To judge, trying to dodge some clouds here. Uh, it's bad storms off to the kind of the west southwest, and then as I'm going through, I'm trying to hopefully figure out whether my route is actually going to make me miss it. It's kind of hard to tell. This uh, damn Garmin that I have does not have a good uh, GPS for weather, uh, not like the old ones do. So, ooh, that's looking dark. It's definitely looking dark. And, uh, but it's also, you can see, it's just spotty. Spotty uh, 
thunderstorms. As they said, scattered thunderstorms. This doesn't look so great. Look at that rain. You can definitely see that line of rain right there. It's, um, it's definitely something I'm sort of headed into. I think I'm going to go, though, kind of on the north edge, the right side of the, of the frame here, be able to beat that uh, rain a little bit. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to miss the rain after all. A little bit of rain, but good to jump into a gas station and avoid it for a little bit. Then jumping here on the on the road, this is a uh, riding in the rain, and uh, unfortunately, it's not so much fun. But the great thing is, I actually kind of went through the two storms. There's one to my left and one to my right as I'm going over the Dan River into Danville itself, and you know. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, luck is lucky is sometimes better than good. And fortunately, it, that storm that's right ahead of me, that's off to the west and I'm headed south. So I'm going to definitely miss that one as well. And just jump on 29 down to Reedsville and uh, hit 158 west for a little bit. And uh, take a little bit of 158 so that I can uh, enjoy some of the riding and not have to be all only on the interstate and uh, 158 is really kind of nice uh, southwest of Reedsville uh, just loping country roads and definitely uh, nice to be able to see a nice sunset in the view uh, and then just jumping on 40 until the rain hits so this kind of sucks a little bit but you know what are you gonna do Best thing to do with the high vis stuff I have is be attentive, keep enough room between you and other people, and kind of ride it out.
Okay, time to uh, camp in a motel using points in Hickory, North Carolina. So, going to take it into the barn for the evening for this uh, first day of uh, the ride for this Brothers Bikes and Bourbon Tour. See you later.